Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up Lutris. But first, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Okay, so this is a clean install of Manjaro. It's just a base install. I've, I've added a couple things in. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to Pac-Man and we are going to go get Lutris from the store. So just search for Lutris. As we can see, I've already installed Lutris, but I've not done much with it. So we'll just click launch. All I have done is just downloaded it. I've not done anything with it at all yet. So it will just we'll just do a check for runtime updates every time. It's just part of the course for Lutris. Now, of course, I'm going to get rid of this horrible, horrible uh, light mode. So to get rid of that, it's just dark theme. And we'll just close it and restart it. Lutris. Now hopefully we should have a... There we go. We now have a nice looking theme. Now, there is a web... There is a Lutris website where we can search for things. So for, in this instance, we'll just search for Epic. Now the Epic Games Launcher is available, as we can see here. So what we're going to be doing first is we are going to log in to Lutris which sounds rather counterintuitive. The first thing we're going to do is log into Lutris. This will allow us to add things to our library and then work from there. So there's my password. Now, as we can see here, these are the softwares I've already used in the past because when, before I managed to brick the previous operating system I was running with, uh, this is what I had. So in this case, we will just get the Epic Game Store, tell that to install, Tell that to install, let it do it, let it do its thing. Now, this could take anywhere from 30 seconds to a couple of minutes, depending on uh, what you want to do with it. Uh, yes, we'll tell it to download both. That is correct. So it's going to download both the things that it needs. And then from this point, as we can see here, uh, this is just preparing wine, ready for the installation of Epic. And it is just as simple as that. Now, bearing in mind, if you download anything with Lutris, and if you run a game with Lutris, like through Epic, for example, it will be run it will be run through Wine. So you won't have to worry about faffing around with it in the future or getting it all set up or anything like that. It will just work, which I very much like. I can attest that Battlefield 4 does work very, very well, as I have played a couple out of like 10, 15 hours with it with absolutely no bothers at all. It works amazingly, and it's, it's just excellent. So this will go through the process of just getting everything set up and installed. Uh, there are a couple things like this that can be ignored. So it's just wanting to So hey, look, this is what I'm doing. This warning error is just waiting for it to kill a couple tasks before proceeding onwards. That's nothing. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, this should be done in a moment. This is just saying, hey, look, I want to kill this task before I continue. That's normal. Uh, that's just, that's part of the course. You don't have to worry about that at all. Now, we just have to wait for this to be finished, and then we should be good to move onwards. While we wait for that, we can look for a couple other games. Uh, tell you what, let's look for Metro Exodus. Because if we wanted to play that, because I've not actually completed it. I've only gone four hours into the game. I've not actually completed it. So it is available. Which is good. So I will most certainly be getting that. Now, the installation of Epic should be done. Uh, there is a couple of things that may or may not work. Uplay doesn't tend to work with Lutris too well. I, I've noticed that while trying to play and I'm trying to get Anno 1800 to work. As we can see, I've got it there. Um, so this is something I will attempt to try and fix later on in the future. And if I can get it fixed, I will uh, make a video on it. Seeing as I, I do very much enjoy my Anno 1800. Uh, now I've got to the point within 8 hours into the game and it says, You've been playing for 8 hours now. Get up and go to have a cup of coffee. Your town will be fine. 
That's that has honestly been the best way a game has said. You've been playing for too long. You have no life. Get up and go away. So as we can see here, this is just preparing. This is just finishing the installation now. So we've just got to wait for a couple more seconds. And then hopefully it should be done. And then we can move on with to the next thing. To the next step. Now, once this is done, you're ready to go. You can just go on straight ahead. Absolutely no bother at all. It'll just work. It'll be absolutely fine. Now, this will take a while or not, depending on what you're trying to install, because I'm trying to install Epic. It's got to do a lot of things in the background. So just scroll, scrolling through. Uh, things that I found that don't work, 5M doesn't work at all, because it's needing... Uh, processes that's calling that's not that's calling for windows uh, specific things that don't work i have looked into it and the developers of 5m have said we are not even going to attempt to make it com compatible with wine so 5m will never work so that is a shame but there's not really much you can do okay now that epic has been installed i'm just going to go create desktop shortcut and application menu shortcut and click launch and here we go epic games in all of its glory absolutely no bother whatsoever i'm just going to move that there and just go get my login because it's going to send me a, a two-factor code when i attempt to log in so i'm going to have to go grab that right quick There we go. Now that's two factor. Right, I am going to pull this out of the way right quick and then just log in. Log in with other games. Here is my email. There's the password. Try another way, send the email, and we should be good. Thank you very much for my two-factor code. I'm just going to quickly type that in. I'll grab a hold of the window, so it is... Four, six, one, six. Click continue, and here we go. We are logged into the Epic Games Launcher. It is just that easy. No bothers at all. This is going to take a little bit to load, like it does every single time, so you don't have to worry about that. I did not know there was a holiday sale coupon on. That's pretty good. Uh, you may notice some of that disappears every now and then. That's just a thing with uh, emulating this. Well, running it through wine, not emulating it. So, for instance, if I wanted to... Oh, I don't know. Choose a game, for example. Let's go with FTL. Click install. And it's just that quick. And bingo. We have FTL. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video. If you're not already subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. I'd like to thank you, thank my Patreons. Thank my patrons. Uh, Ashley and Raining Hazmat. And I'd like... I'd like you to click the notification bell once you hit the subscribe button, a like, so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and have a good rest of your day.